so after the last video we shared, there were a few comments uh, and inquiring minds about how the glass slipper came to be. Uh, I like the idea of um, producing something that was, um, it looked like it was something off the catwalk and, um, and it seemed appropriate to have a go at something in black. So this, this is one of the first, first examples. It's a good job I like a challenge because the, uh, the clear one still took a long time in the hot shop and um, the first attempts looked quite crude, if I'm honest, but they were close enough to give me confidence that we should, we should keep going and keep going. We've had these hanging around from the studio for a few weeks. Um, people may have seen them hanging around in the background. This will obviously explain why. I mean, it's, it's tricky to, to recreate a shape unless you've got something, um, something from which to work from. Um, so that's my excuse for the leopard skin. next part of the process was to um, use a, a v-shaped cutting wheel similar to the one I've got here so you can just see the, the profile of that. Having spent a few hours on the, the cutting lathe there the, uh, the shoe was cut all over the cuts though have um, a frosted finish to it because the, the abrasive nature of the wheel leaves quite a scar and um, I wanted this shoe to look um, pristine or as pristine as possible and so it was necessary to um, polish up a lot of those cuts so we took, I took the, the shoe itself to a, an acid dipper. They submerged the shoe into a vat of acid um, which reacts and, and brings up all of those cuts to a beautiful polish finish and I was quite proud of it at this stage. It seemed that it, was, it, it wasn't elevated to the right sort of status. Numerous times throughout the film the, uh, the, the shoe is presented on a royal cushion so it seemed quite appropriate to, to look at presenting it and, and I, I love this idea of um, making it seem like uh, the most import important object.
hopefully you enjoyed the footage and um, I was certainly pleased with the, the results. I think it's, it's something that we're going to work on and develop a little bit further, so watch this space. If you've enjoyed watching, please click the like and the share button, possibly even the subscribe button. And um, hopefully we'll be sharing a few more clips in the future from the studio as it happens. But for now, take care and um, hope you're all well.